Oh, got it done right here. I promise you guys a review on my setup of the 180 gallon Arwana tank. This is the first time you guys are gonna hear me say this. That's him right there. He's about six inches in length. He's with he's with the bully, my angelfish. He bullies everything in my next tank. So he can't bully the arowana, <laughs> obviously. So let me just go ahead and tell you the setup. Initially, I, I keep giving you a glimpse of this. This is my sump. This is the sump, the plumbing setup. This is the sump, and this is the lighting. So, thanks to um, King of DIY, and with the help of some ingenuity and understanding of how things work, I, I managed to pull this off, and it's been working for almost a month without water change. And as you can see, the water is crystal clear. Crystal clear, I say. All right, let's go right ahead. I'm gonna start with the lighting first because that's um initially the easiest thing to do so let me sh let me show you so it's a it's a regular um house drainage or gutter setup with five meter led lights inside it's paced on the you know, regular scotch there i got three rows in actually three two and th uh, three quarter which is good enough and this comes with um, remote um, I, I'm sure you guys seen this before but I'll show you you get to change the color there's a sensor right behind here so you get red green a whole ton of colors or you could just put it to one of these um these fades and it just changes color and yeah I like the the white or the crisp blue I, I keep it at that it shows off my R1. He doesn't have much color yet, so this so far keeps it solid. So it's my tank is six feet long, so it it runs from six feet. I kind of one inch shorter, so I could put the caps on, which is like half inch each. So it sits nicely on the top of my and it does. Let me just give you a back view. I guess you didn't even um, notice it was there. See, this is just um, makeshift covers for now. Until I get back, I'm gonna I'm going to a fast vacation to to my homeland. So this is just for him not to jump out. There are weights I put on it. I just leave it like that so insects can get in. Yeah, he likes eating insects. He is there again. All right, so that's the lighting. Let's go with the plumbing. So this is a well-known plumbing system for your um for the hobby. So you got this is the um overflow on the inside. There. Let me just take the top off and show you. So there it is. It actually works as both a skimming and overflow system. So look at look at the the crisp of this water. Almost a month, haven't touched this water. I did a water test just yesterday, and it was perfect. pH 6.8. Um, this is my water test kit. Okay, yeah, my pH was laying around 6.8, which is perfect. My um, ammonia was like 0.25 or less. It wasn't even close to that green. Nitrates was zero, nitrites were zero. I am proud of that. Thank you. Alright, so back to the plumbing. So yeah, so that skims off. It flows all the way down here. Now this is your your um your ear hole. So it, it does suction it does take in air. So you need the air to get out or as you look you lose the siphon. Right, so this is an, an extra hole I put at the top here with the surgical scissors, don't judge me, to keep the air out. So if air does get in, 
or in case this is clogged or anything you just suck it out and then or rele you release this and air gets sucked in that's if you want to stop the siphon usually uh, you don't want to stop the siphon so it goes into my sump all in one sump it's a little bulky but it does the job obviously so let's go right into it so this is the a regular 30 gallon tote and this is your um, your basic Walmart tree drawers part you know what they store they don't whatever they store in it so let me just show you what's up now so the first draw um, I'm gonna show you a video my last video telling you that I'm not gonna use the bottom draw as you can see it's not there so the first draw there we go so that's the the piping from the siphon into a filter this is a anti-nitride filter which captures um, you know the, the really it polishes the water initially anything solid any extra food particles I think you could see two food two food sticks got suctionized yeah so that's what that, that that's the main function of that which is doing perfectly it also reduces the nitrate and nitrite in the water really really um, easy to really easy to change you just pull this out you whip that right out put a new one in well this one it's a reusable so you just wash it out you could dry it and put it right back in it has um, a bit of ceramic filtering I think in it and then there's a, the regular sponge in there it's this you see the two drawers I cut the first one put it on the top to give this two layers so the two layers are working there's the macro filter then the micro filter and tada this is my first step now there's holes at the bottom as you can see as you can remember um me posting the video of how I did this part and then this is the second part this is where your your um your bacteria colonize so this is your bacteria filter it there's just basic scrubbies with hole at the bottom and all the way at the bottom here is a tray of pH neutralizing substrate so why did I do that because I didn't want to put substrate in there of just random color so I just put it I just put it in there and then aluminum tray with black sand and one of the major um, properties of it is to reduce pH giving me a perfect pH of 6.5 to 6.8 this is optimum for R1 so and in here now we have a pump it's it's the real 110 um, HF hyperflow the HF stands for it's, it's a beautiful pump I love it 660 gallons per hour obviously that's drastically reduced I'm sure I'm getting a, like probably 400 gallons if that much simple the whole system there's a lot of parts that come with it so you could do this so this part is where you have to um you have to balance inflow and outflow as you know that's important for anyone else and me i always make sure i do that so there's a, a ball valve here and there's a small ball valve on it right here so I that one is going to be um more of the macro flow and that's micro flowing so yeah i got it to balance and it stays there i had a ruler here i didn't i had I use the ruler for my next um, project but yeah look at that and then you get ear bubbles surface agitation so um, I'm sure you guys seen this DIY sump before oh I didn't, I didn't even tell you I have two 300, 200 watts um, heaters in there I need a, I'm gonna get a UV sterilizer soon when I get back yeah Re very very simple I did every I did the planning overnight well technically not I did like you know systematic planning and dreaming and make sure I get it right down pack into my head and then the piping this took me less than a day the piping and the light I did in one day the sump it, you you know the things with the sump you have to you have to get everything now yeah you have to get everything and I prefer to work 
So this took me about a week to gather everything and an overnight to come to do it, to put everything in. Then the um, pump setup, simple. So yeah, it's very very effective. I mean, I don't I'm not sure of the prices of actual filters, but for a, fi a filter for this or um um a um, pre-made sump, probably gonna give you um you know a bit of bankruptcy. I don't want I don't I don't I'm not a rich guy, so I keep it simple. Um, again, shout out to DIY King of DIY, um, Joey. I'm sure he might not see this, but he gave me most of the inspiration to make this. So yeah, and he also has an Asian arowana, so he's fairly prolific in raising and um, getting an optimum growth for his arowana. So he's he's a YouTube channel I'd like to shout out, King of DIY, very very efficient guy. He's from Canada, see he can get the Asian iron one, I cannot. So I just cut the top, the reg the um the top that came for it, and put this in. Uh, lock it. Boom. Um there's children gonna be here soon. So um I kinda don't wanna be the person that makes um something happen. Being a person of the emergency emergency um medical field. I don't want anything to happen to children. So Let's just recap. This is the 180 gallon tank for my arowana. That's the light up top. DIY, perfect. It lights it up. Well, it's in the day. You won't see much, but it's it's lit, well lit at night. It's nice to be in here. It's very ambient. Then the um, filter system. It's um, overflow siphon system, and then regular 660 um, gallons per hour pump, pumping it back out. Perfect aeration. Bacterial um, growth, pH neutralization, um, heating, and that's it. It's not. It's very not. It's not that hard. I actually got. I got a steal on this tank. This tank. Um, there was this regular. This uh, regular pet store. Um. They they had this guy that bring a fish from. He got it from. Uh, I think it was California. And he said it's it's all growing a tank and he's getting tired of it. So he it was an R1 silver R1 and a red tail catfish. So he's like he got tired of it. The R1 was about 11 inches, not not like you know grande. And the red tail catfish girth was around four inches. Now again, not big, very small. And he said he doesn't want to deal with it anymore. He had sand all the way up to here, which is funny. And the tank was, it looked like it was soaked in mud for a while. And this is the stand for it. I got this for $200, 200 US dollars. Easy. So I got this tank, it was in bad condition. I had to um, sandpaper the glass to make it get a little, uh, this clean. Sandpaper it and then I uh, did a small amount of compound. I wouldn't recommend that because the compound oil stays on forever. It took me a while to cycle this tank. And and the stand came with it. Now my family is a bit messy, so this was an upgrade in how neat this corner looked. And my dad was he walked in, he was like, Oh what is the oh the place is clean, never mind. Yeah. And um, so this is this is basically everything. And yeah, if you got any questions, if you want to know um anything else, drop a comment below. And if you like this video, subscribe to see more. Thank you. I'll see you guys later.